People in our region continue to assess the damage left in the wake of Hurricane Helene. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. Now, nearly a month out from the storm, community leaders are putting dollar amounts on the devastation the flooding caused. Dozens of homes, businesses, and roads were severely damaged, if not destroyed, when the storm hit our region. News Channel 11's Ansley Daniel met with leaders from Washington and Unicoi counties to learn about the financial impact of Hurricane Helene. Ansley, what did they share? Yeah, Sarah and Casey, the Chestnut Bridge behind me here in Irwin could cost $13 million to fix, but the Emergency Management Agency director for the county tells me that the countywide damage could be north of $70 million. Roads with the bridges and everything, we're probably running probably around $25 million right now in the county. Uh, the city infrastructure, just a wild guess, would probably be close to $40, $50 million. Unicoi County was battered by Hurricane Helene. Three and a half weeks later, they're still assessing just how much damage was caused. This river has moved within 100 foot of the road here. Then if you look back, you can see how all this was green land. So these homes were wiped out? These homes were wiped out. Okay. Irwin says 10 homes were destroyed and 25 were damaged, but about a thousand were affected. They was either uh, received driveway damage, road damage, or uh, was have to alter their travel to uh, go around the uh, damaged areas. Leaders in neighboring Washington County are also crunching the numbers. Over $50 million worth of just structures, houses, and businesses, so we, we know that. The impact there is on the 107 side of the county. Grandy says 119 homes and businesses were wiped out and nearly 100 were damaged. The question is whether those homes will be demolished and rebuilt or whether they'll be renovated and mucked up and cleaned up. The county has three bridges it's responsible for fixing and that could cost up to $50 million. Leaders are also trying to figure out the best way to rebuild A.J. Willis, Corby and Little Germany roads because of the change in the riverbed. The county will probably have a threshold, the state has a threshold. I think there's a threshold for the region uh, from the state's perspective. The initial assessment is going to be accurate. We certainly won't have a problem meeting that threshold. Both Washington and Unicoi counties have their own meetings with TEMA and FEMA tomorrow. Those meetings are going to give them some more firm numbers. It's also going to give them a clearer picture on these damage assessments and what they're going to look like moving forward. It's also going to help them understand what reimbursement is going to look like. Live in Irwin, Ansley Daniel, News Channel 11. Ansley, thanks.